Um, well, we have to work out like Charlie's hours. now starting to come by yeah, and, on. Um, you said different from Charlie's segment, your own segment of exercise. Or we'll bring someone in who wants to work out with me, or I'll give you a workout, and we'll do it in live time for a half hour. Something cool. Um, okay, uh, Marsha Warmont says, "Good morning from New Hampshire." Hey, Marsha. Um, Marsha, Marsha. Patty Gaffney Hamill says, "I ran New York years ago, and I agree with Jenna. I was dropped off and picked up by my family in New Jersey." Marathons are out of hand now. It was fun, but too hard on my body See? for first sprint. See? Thank you. Yeah. And you're welcome. I'm going to spare you my, my knee story. Uh, yes, John, we had technical issues. Um, so, um, Tony Kendall says, thank you for the birthday wishes, Jenna. Yeah, no problem. Um, Sherry Van, Van, Van Antwerp says, hi from Iowa. Hi, Sherry. Um... Marsha Wormont, a serious question here. Do you believe diet and exercise can reverse cancer? I mean, how can I answer that? I, do, I don't know. I do. I mean, I guess that's the right answer. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it be great if it did? Um, yeah. If, if, if diet and exercise reverse cancer, then I would never have cancer. But sadly, I think that well, uh, people can get cancer. I think it's just. From what I understand, like if you have healthier cells and what you eat, it boosts your immune system and somehow that yeah. helps. But I don't know for sure. I don't think it's. Um, Clayton Wingfield says hi from Alaska. Any tips on staying fit in the cold winter months? Uh, yeah. Did you see Rocky Four? Hello. All Rocky Four did was stay um, in the winter. John months. from Cherry Hill actually says that. John, can you repeat what you just wrote? Um, but I think he said that. The research is that it can't cure it, but it can be um, well, look, can prevent it. It's it's as a preventable. As it, it's the, that the cardio is. I don't know if it's pre pre you're gonna prevent cancer, but the stronger you are, the healthier you are, the more immune your system is. He says cardio perhaps... is the number one preventer. Okay. Well, we'll have a. We should actually let's make get a show on this. We'll just make make a note to send me. I actually have enough connections that we Oh my can. god, someone just took a guitar out, which means someone's going to play guitar soon, which means there soon might be music, which means someone might know the boxer from Simon and Garfogel, which means I'm soon going to be super, super happy. Baby. <laughs> Go on. Um, Carol Elaine Lovig says, you look very nice. Thank you, and plus I love anyone with the word Elaine anywhere in their name. That's Why? That's like a Seinfeld fan. Oh, wow. Seinfeld. She was good in Seinfeld, wasn't she? She was the best in Seinfeld. Who was the best actor in Seinfeld? I mean, of the four or are the fringe characters? Of they all had a characters. Character named Jenna on the show. Who was your favorite? Who was your favorite character on Seinfeld? Elaine. Elaine, not Jerry. Elaine, not Jerry. Not Kramer. Not Kramer. Elaine. Not the soup Nazi. Not the soup Nazi. Elaine. Not. What's the guy? Nor not. Who was Nor the big? Norm. No, no, Norm's from Cheers. Newman. But Newman. Not Newman. Elaine. Elaine Pettis. George Steinbrenner. Not George, who was Larry, played by Larry David, but Elaine. Was it? Was there no second? It was Elaine. It was just Elaine. Yeah. Who were, were there? Any other women who were good actresses? On All, you know how many people, famous people, were on that show? Every one of his girlfriends went on to be a famous. Courtney Cox was one of his girlfriends. Courtney Cox was one of his girlfriends. What are you translating English to English? Yeah, uh, she Courtney was. Cox she actually had quite the history because she was like in that Bruce Springsteen video, Dancing in the Dark. She got called and then on stage, she was which was inside... staged, by the way. I thought it wasn't. I always thought it. I was once. Oh, you think like someone like that just like happened to pump up on stage? When I was little, I did. <laughs> that was a. Uh, um, John says something is real and spectacular. He said they are real and spectacular. Yeah, that was Jamie Garth, not Jamie Garth. Jamie Getz. It was her breast. She got. They did the whole they show was about whether oh. he didn't know if they were real or not, and so he sent Elaine into the sauna to see if she could figure it out. And by mistake, she tripped and she grabbed them. And at the end, when Jamie broke up with her, she goes, "By the way, they're real and they're spectacular." And he goes, "Ah." Oh. See, I'm not a Seinfeldian. What do you guys call yourselves? We're Seinfeldians. Seinfeldian. Well, I'm half Jewish, half Seinfeld. Okay. Yeah. That's um, what I say. But. The one episode that always stuck out with me was the episode where he went on a date with a girl and she was like good looking from one angle. Yeah, but then and in the other side, side of the, it was, the diner, she was not <laughs> so good I always found looking. that one to be very funny. And they used the same actress. Like they just did it with lighting. It was actually amazing. Yeah, that's that actually were able pretty to funny. Do that. um, there's something about UFC too. Of, I think there's something with UFC going on here on Twitter. Um, all right. Um, 
Catherine Parker says, for goodness sake, Elaine. Okay. Yeah. Um, Catherine Parker says, you brighten the day for so many. She's good morning from South Greenville, South Carolina. Thank you. Um, Dawn M Wessner Muller. I'm going to have to take like reading classes. Just read. Um, Jenna, your spirit bring. Did I just read that? No. Oh, your spirit brings joy to my day. Your kids are lucky to have amazing parents. Love seeing you just being yourself unscripted. Thank you. This is as, as real as it gets. I just posted a video for um, Ariana Huffington is starting this new project called Thrive or something and asked me if I would do a video and a, an article for her on um, working out anywhere. So I said, you know what, what's better than to just do it right here? So I said, it was Sunday, Saturday morning. I said, Steph, let me give you my phone. Just tape it, right? One kid was doing one thing in one room. One kid was doing something. I go, let's just see where it goes. I'm going to do a quick three-minute explanation of a great workout, okay? So I just had the top, the bottom. I was barefoot. I was in my living room, and I started, right? And so I said, I said, all right, here we go. We're going to do my all-time favorite workout. You can burn 100 calories in 10 minutes. You can do this absolutely anywhere. So I'm like 35 seconds in, and Harper comes up from behind, and she's like, I do that too? I'm like, sure. Quinny comes up, blah, 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 sure. Then Quinny and Harper start fighting, obviously, and then Quinny goes over and starts eating Harper's breakfast, and she starts hysterically crying, and I go deal with them, bring them back. Harper brought a toy. Quinny took my big laptop, put it right in front of the camera where Steph was, closed it, dropped it. Like, it was chaos. Like, I gave new meaning to the word, like a three-ring circus was going on in the two and a half minutes that I shot this video, but I still managed to get all the exercises out. At one point, I was on in a tabletop, kicking my legs. Quinny went under. I didn't see her. I, like, sat on her, like... Everybody cried, everybody, and at the very, very end, at the last thing, I'm like, and that is how you burn 100 calories. I pick up the little one, I say, say bye-bye, and the two of them looked up, and they went, bye-bye. I'm like, see you soon, and we hit it off, and I even said on the video, I go, well, there's no way this is going to be the final take, but we're going to go with it anyway, and I said, you know what? Like, <clears throat> I'm so tired of everything being polished in the world. It's time for people to see who we are as real people. Like, that's how I have to, that, that's the chaos that I have to manage every day to get out of the house to work out to eat to do anything why not it's why those not anecdotal kind of videos <clears throat> and pictures that have made instagram what it is that's right so guess what i submitted it and they wrote back and they were like loved it it is so real so honest so as soon as it posts i'm gonna let you guys know and um maybe we'll go live from their big event or something that'll be very oh, cool. cool anyway um what is it Connor? um says, hey Jenna, I came at the start of the marathon in Staten Island. I totally agree with everything. Yes, Aviva! Mwah. Grande besos a tu. Does that mean big For those of you who couldn't hear Connor, he said that Aviva said that, that she, she catered an event. Everything. She agrees with everything. She catered an event before the marathon? Or? She catered the start I of the marathon. I forgot. The start, the start marathon. of the marathon. Yeah, she cooked for everybody. Yeah. Wow. Which is like when George's father cooked for the big event and he and Kramer was trying to do it and he's like, the recipe called for four. I tried to do the multiplication for 408, and it didn't work out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bunny. The, uh, yeah, that pre-marathon thing was the whole... Yep. Um, anyway, um, Amanda McCafferty says, <clears throat> if you could choose a different career, what would you do? I would probably be an actress on Broadway. I love the concept of being in an ensemble cast or something, or, or in a sitcom. <clears throat> or anywhere where you can go in every day and you're working with the same group of people and you all have your own role. <clears throat> I have this thing where I really like the concept of a role. It keeps anyone from being left out. No one has to fight with anyone else for more than they, are, they should be getting or want to be getting. They have a role. And when you have a role on a project, you work so well. So that's what I would absolutely love to do. I did all kind of plays and everything in college and I absolutely loved it. And now I get to do little things on TV shows, which I, which I love. Like, Law and orders and things like that, and I and I love it. And I would probably do that. And I always thought I wanted to do that, but I was very athletic, and so I became a sportscaster. Um, and that was more of a role as well. You walk in, and everyone has their role. At well, you have your station. ensemble. You have your whole right. And I loved that. I love. And you that. even got like you even developed relationships amongst the different sports reporters that you would hang out with. Correct. Correct. And then so sadly, I dated talent. some of them too, which was like not the, the best. The sports thing, reporters. Yeah. And it's why is that not a good idea? Business. That doesn't always work out. It only I, has to work out once. Or in yeah. some of our cases, four times. But. You know, I dated someone. Listen, this is the closest I came to the marathon. I dated this girl that ran the marathon. And, uh, and I really liked this girl. And so I saw from the inside out what the marathon was all about. So I'm not just sitting here. Blah, 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 blah. Marathon, 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 marathon. Like, I went to the Javits Center. 
I walked around the Javits Center to get the bib and to get the thing and all the hoopla and the chaos. I went to the race. I followed her race on the chip on her shoe with the computer on the phone to see what miles she was at. I got pushed and shoved and moved around by people from here, not from here. I, I had to, I was there when they pulled the big thing of tinfoil and wrapped it around. I was there when the metal went over. I was even there when she said we should stop and get coffee. And I, let me tell you, it was like this. <laughs> right, but did you enjoy the fact that she had more stamina for life? She doesn't have more stamina for life, just so you know. Oh. She doesn't. She ran 26.2 miles. That's all she did. Let's talk about stamina. You put me in any other venue except for the running. I just can't run. I have a very bad knee. And we're going toe for toe with stamina. I'm not saying she has more than I do. But I'm not saying she, I have more than You were a beneficiary does. of her stamina. Oh yeah, a little bit, but that's a little bit. <laughs> marathon runners are good for that, but right. not. <laughs> on, a, on a completely related but unrelated note, I was driving down the West Side Highway the other day here in New York City, and guess what I passed? Trapeze. Oh. Let's get back to that another time. Go on. Okay. We're almost a done, and then we get to listen to some music. A trapeze marathon. A trapeze. What a trapeze. I'm no longer dating marathon. that woman. <laughs> You're no longer dating the trapeze artist, or? Never dated her, no longer dating the marathoner. We would expect that you not dating the marathoner oh, yeah, because, because you're married. Some, yeah. <laughs> That's... For a number of reasons, and... that being <laughs> If you're dating anybody else, let us know. Yeah, that's we, a good point. We, we, we can break some news on, this, on the show over here. Um, Robin Lynn Bielowski Wolke. Actually, Tony I Kendall can't wants to know. Possibly be me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Tony Kendall wants to know who's on today's show. Next up is Cameron Mitchell. Then we have a few surprises for you later on in the show, Tony. What? Nothing. Go on. Thank you, Jenna. Um, love you too. Yes. Robin Lynn B. Loud B. No. Walky. Can't possibly be her name. I apologize for the way. Robin, I apologize on behalf of Just myself Robin. and the Robin, entire Robin, you know it's Robin. you. Can we see that exercise video? Which one? The one you did for. Um, yeah, should I show Ariana it to you real quick or should I do it after? Well, show it. Yeah. I did. Uh, well, it's, 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 it's I don't there, know if you can show you the exact yeah, one I did for them, but I could do one exactly the okay, same. Okay, do it, do our, do our, do a version here. Well, it's, it's, it's my favorite exercise, it's my go-to, I call it a pyramid. Do you need Connor? I could have Connor do it. Yes, we that'll should, be more. But we should look forward to it, like it's okay, 12 later. o'clock, what okay. time should we do it? We'll do it, or, we'll do it later, after the one o'clock hour, in the one o'clock hour. All right, we'll do it at one o'clock, we're going to do all fitness at one o'clock, is that good? Sure. Well, actually, no. We're yeah. doing news and politics at one because we have to get to news and politics today. Okay. Um, we're gonna do music now. Okay. And then um, we'll do. Whatever. How are we ever gonna get all this stuff in one show, Lance? It's gonna be near impossible. Well, that's actually. I mean, for all of our fans, um, that's one of the things that we actually want input on is like developing the sort of. Yeah, we want you guys to know that we have certain things coming up, like news right. and politics. And news and politics, we're doing the, uh, we movies. had the brackets, the, yeah. the, the competition for the first round ended. We're going to get to the second bracket, second round of brackets today also. Um, so let's get on. Um, Moira Cal Calicota says hi, gives you a kiss. Hi, Moira. And we're up to camera now. We are? That's it. We're up to, yeah, and exactly at 12 o'clock. By the way. I had an hour set. It was planned as an hour segment. We hit an hour. We just we we started a minute late. Yeah, we did pretty well. We're doing. We're like a well-oiled machine. Well, almost I wouldn't now. go that far, but I'm saying we did. We're a well. machine almost now. We are going to take a quick break and then we're going to play uh, and hear. When I say we are going to play, we aren't going to do anything. Cameron is going to play a little music. Okay. For us. So by the way, Sarah is uh, saying, yes, the show schedule would be great. Sarah, there is a show schedule. Everybody should also start looking at the um, Jenna Wolf show page. We have a show schedule up there. Um, in terms of guests, we will start introducing our, um, I don't know what we'll call them, bits, but like our own programming Seconds. segments. Um, that's the word I was looking for. If I was on TV. You would have known it. I would have known that. Okay. Word. But that's what we're up to. We're going to awesome. take a quick break. And we'll and be right we'll, back. We'll be right back. Thank you. Here are my pants. Hey, Cameron. How are you doing? Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How Pleasure. 